the American Institute for Cancer Research's 10 guidelines, recommendations, uh, are, can be supported by the available evidence. I believe the evidence is strong enough to make a compelling case that people should take these recommendations under strong consideration. And the experts, when they get around the table and they evaluate the literature, they can really look at the consistency across many years of studies and be able to come up with a message that is sound and, um, and that really does apply. They provided a number of recommendations that individuals can follow to not only prevent cancer, but to prevent cardiovascular disease and other chronic conditions. We have a strong evidence showing that people that follow these recommendations actually can prevent cancer. And this has been proven in the studies, in several studies across the world using different populations. They're very simple steps people can take. We are promoting more of a, a, a lifestyle for uh, cancer prevention. Nutrition isn't going to be the only answer, but it can be part of the answer. Our recommendations are really a lifestyle package. So although there are specific recommendations around weight and diet and physical activity, uh, we really en envisage them as a package of a whole lifestyle change. I think we understand in nutrition that single foods aren't the secret to prevention. Eating a, a, a good diet, eat food. <laughs> Don't eat packaged, high salt, high fat, high sugar food. Eat a plant-based diet to um, be as active uh, as one can be. If you just make your life more active, that, that has a, a big effect. Our big mission is to make people healthier uh, and, uh, and with sound information rather than fly-by-night information. These are all really easy steps for people to follow to reduce their risk.